Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to run a pair view and a TCL script uh, from a command line, so either interactively or in batch mode. So to start with, uh, let me load uh, interactively the session so that I can show you what I want to do. So I won't load the MVW session, which is something for me which is really tight, one result. Um, instead I prefer to use flexible reports. So let me load it from scratch again. Um, so a flexible report is with extension the TPL and it allows you basically to change uh, the parameters. So by default, uh, when you serve a TPL, you have access to the input files that were in this current session, but you can add some parameters uh, too with the parameter browser. So in this TPL, I have three uh, different parameters. I will hit on apply because and this is going wrong because i didn't pick the correct location so let me go again to session uh flexible reports i need to change the location of my first run.h3d which is now in this folder uh, same for my t01 and i append and now i have my results so it's um, an explicit simulation uh with the crash of the crash box um the third argument which was the mass it's what defines the datum plane here and in fact for explicit simulations if you control the time step of your simulation depending on the target value of the time step you may increase the mass of your uh system uh so i wanted to control that the mass was not um getting greater than uh, let's say five percent of the complete mass uh, I check also the energy balance and another numerical <coughs> criteria which is Hoglas energy divided by kinetic energy which should be lower than 10%. And then eventually what I want to do is to export all the curves. So let me go, let me jump to the command lines. Sorry, we'll hide a little bit these commands. And let me pick the first one. Uh, this one is the type of command lines that we will have to use um, for this command because what I did interactively is I open a hyperview, I asked for a flexible report and uh, I asked for um, the different parameters. So how did I get this command line? First I went to my startup menu, so here I have hyperworks 22.3, I will go to more, open the uh, file of the lo uh, location of the file and what I did was to go to hyperworks 22.3 HV which is hidden because we do not want to expose too much links first and I get this command line which I paste in my CMD. Um, then I authored one TCL that we, I will open just after um, which is called automate report v 03tcl and I pass him, I passed it, sorry, uh, the TPL file name, my animation file, my time history file, and my mass value. So now let me go to, uh, let me hit enter on this one just to run it interactively and let me go to the um, TCL macro. So in this TCL, I am the first commands uh, how to define the initial object in TCL Hyperview, which is my session. And I use the two commands below to deactivate uh, the, unit, the unit scaling pop-up that you have every time you uh, load curves into a hypergraph from external sources. Um, then what I did, and I will explain it a little bit after, is to extract the flexible report inputs from the command line that I hit it. Um, and then in Hyperview again, I looked if there was already, if the flexible report was already loaded or not. So as it is not, I uh, add it. And then I asked to apply the parameterized session with the parameters from the command line, argument one, argument two, argument three, which will I explain. 
Also, I animated all page once. Uh, so this command, this is really specific to 22.3. It was not available in the previous version. And then I exported the curves. So let me jump back to one interactive session. This here, so let me come back to the TCL. Uh, for these arguments, I'm relaying on a TCL variable which is called argv, which I put at the really beginning of the macro. So this is the output that you see here. So this is what we entered in the command line. This is the, the output of dollar argv. So this is how TCL sees this command line. What I did was to trying to get um, the different arguments from a reference pattern. And the reference pattern that I used for uh, searching was minus TCL. So the first step in my TCL was to say, OK, what is the position in my list? So the start argument index of minus TCL. This is my starting point. And then from minus TCL, where is my TPL? My TPL is two arguments later, because I need to skip the TCL. Uh, the TPL is two arguments later. So uh, I define this one with um, position and index of dollar $RV, so the position if my list, which is two steps after this position. And I did the same for argument one, which is my animation file, uh, argument two, which is my time history file, and argument three, which is my mass. I purposely leave argument one, two, three, because I want to show that you can quickly change the number of parameters and you just have to add lines. Uh, argument four will be uh, starting argument index plus six, etc., etc. Et so this is basically the, the construction of my uh, macro. And uh, what I showed you is how to execute it from um, the new interface in interactive mode. The batch mode is not yet available for the new interface, but with exactly the same script we can do. So I will remove the dot out files that just have been populated from the script. And using another command, which is the hyperview for the old interface. Um, so this one, just checking that I used now. OK, hw.exe, so we are not calling the same executable, but you, we are using basically the same uh, commands. What I will add to the commands compared to minus TCL and all our, my arguments is minus B prior to minus TCL, because I don't want this to uh, screw my um, computation of arguments. And then I can hit enter um, once I've checked that all my parameters are fine. And I will see nothing from the uh, command line point of view. So the, the only way I can check the macro run fine is just to wait for the rest file to be populated. If the rest file is not populated at all, um, that means that eventually there is something wrong and that I need to double check or to run it interactively again to see uh, if something is going wrong. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, I took exactly the same script that worked in the new interface and I can run it uh, with no issue with the old interface in batch mode. So thanks for reviewing this video and see you later for another video. Goodbye everyone.